The campaigns are over, the Victorians have delivered their verdict and the count has begun here at the State Tally Room in Melbourne's Exhibition Centre. Welcome to the ABC's Victorian election coverage and tonight could yet turn out to be something of a roller coaster ride even though the polls are still predicting a comfortable victory for Labor. As it happens, today is also the 150th anniversary of the first meeting of the Victorian Parliament. After seven years as Premier, Steve Brax was looking for another comfortable win. But Liberal leader Ted Bailieu has run a saturation campaign, clearly making up some ground over the past few weeks. Still, his task is huge. Labor's landslide win four years ago delivered a massive lower house majority, 62 of the 88 seats. Out of coalition, the Liberals hold just 17 seats and the Nationals 7. To win, the opposition needs a statewide swing close to 8%, which has certainly happened before in state politics, but it's a big call. News poll in The Australian shows a swing away from Labor of just 2%, although the Ages AC Nielsen poll suggests the swing could be as high as 5% to the opposition. That would still represent a big loss of seats for Labor. We'll see an interesting subplot in the upper house tonight where the whole of the council is facing election under a new voting system of proportional representation. It gives minor parties a very real chance of holding the balance of power in the upper house for the next four years. With us to weave his computer magic tonight is veteran ABC analyst Anthony Green. Anthony, if seats are going to fall tonight, where would you be looking to see? You'd be looking first up at those very marginal seats under 2% on the fringe of Melbourne, Evelyn, Hastings, Gembrook. Further in, you'd be seen looking at Bayswater, Kil Kilsyth, the seats in the outer eastern suburbs of Melbourne. There's a few more dotted around the other the southeastern suburbs of Melbourne. Beyond that, there's a couple in regional Victoria, but I think really if the Liberals are going to improve this election, most of that improvement will have to be in suburban eastern Melbourne. OK, I know there, there's some change in the way the votes uh, are going to be dealt with tonight because of the, the changes in the upper house. But OK, how soon would and you before expect? we go, uh, we might uh, take a quick look again at the state the likely state uh, of the uh, House of the Lower House in the uh, in the Parliament, Victorian Parliament, Anthony. Well, the, the prediction at this stage is we are seeing Labor on 56 seats. A couple of these seats have nudged back onto the Labor side of the pendulum with Lake Counting. Liberals 23, Nationals 8 and one other. And we've got um, definitely the Melbourne seat is switching back towards a bit looking like the Labor Party might hold it. So at this stage, it's a Labor majority of 24. And Anthony, just, uh, just on the Upper House, um, John Brumby, before he left, uh, had word from uh, some Labor strategists that not only uh, did they believe that Labor would end up with 20 seats in the upper house, they thought there was a possibility they'd end up with 21 and the Greens would have no seats. There is a possibility, and but I would be cautious about that North Metropolitan prediction because there's a lot yep. more Green vote to come in from central Melbourne. OK, that's where we will wrap up our coverage tonight. Thanks again to our panel, uh, particularly Ian Henderson, Anthony Green, Josephine Kafanya. And of course, uh, the rest of the ABC team, all the people who technically have brought this coverage together, uh, and the enormous effort that's gone in over time refining the computer system uh, to bring you uh, the most comprehensive and most sophisticated uh, counting and analysis of the votes, even though, as they were tonight, uh, uncharacteristically slow in coming in. Uh, tomorrow morning at 9am, Barry Cassidy will be talking to Steve Brax and Kim Beasley. Uh, it'll be interesting to hear how Kim Beasley manages to turn this into good news for the federal opposition. And ABC News, of course, at 7pm tomorrow night, will have further reports and analysis. Thanks for your company. I'm Kerry O'Brien. Goodbye and good night. Thank you all. Uh, it's clear now that the result of the election is clear. We will hold this government accountable and we will continue the quest. That's what this is all about. I want to thank the people of Victoria for their trust they've shown in our government for a further four years. I'm grateful for that trust. I can say that that trust will not be misplaced.